I am here today with Scott Frieden, Hindsight Home Inspection. And Scott is actually sponsoring this video. He is one of our ambassadors on the program that we have come up with called Low Country Connect, where we are your connection to the Low Country. And we have joined forces with various professionals such as Scott, uh, and because our clients are leaving locations and coming and settling here and they don't really know a whole lot of people. And you have a vast knowledge of all kinds of people, right? Uh, I'd like to think I know, I know definitely some does. things. That's true, yes. Um, so um, first question is, uh, how long have you been doing home inspections? A little more than 10 years now, John. Um, and like I discussed with you earlier, 10 years is enough to be dangerous. Um, there's a lot more that anyone can still learn, but I, I feel I'm fairly confident at this point. Now, I will also say to become a home inspector is a little bit like a realtor. Classroom hours, Correct. maybe a week of classroom hours, uh, 45 hours, 60 hours, something like that, and then take a state test, right? That's exactly right. And there are plenty of people out there that just got their license. Correct. Correct? Correct. Okay, 10 That's years. Right. We got that out of the way. <laughs> Okay, so we use Scott an awful lot for our home inspections, and can, today we want to talk a little bit about polybutylene pipes. And I'm going to let you talk because you deal with it every day. I deal with people that are freaked out about it. Well, you deal with people that are freaked out about it. I do, John. Um, I feel a lot of phone calls uh, regarding the polybutylene, um, which is a, a plumbing line that is in residential homes. Uh, it used to be, and it still is. Uh, it originated, it was manufactured in 1978 and it ran through 1995. Um, they started to realize at some point that there were some problems with uh, the integrity of the, the lines. So there was a lot of leaks, which led to class action lawsuits. All um, over the country. Uh, Not more just more than 10 million homes yeah. is, is what the data suggests. Yeah. So um, these class action lawsuits were successful and they paid out more than a billion, that's with a B wow. dollars, right? So naturally there is some concern there. These, these class action suits have since been closed, so it's not a deficiency. Okay. So in other oh, words, okay. if, if uh, I'm performing an inspection, I need to note that that is present at the house and let them know what that means, what the implications are, but it is not considered deficient unless there's a leak, right? So there's a caveat Interesting. there. Interesting, okay. So the biggest problem with, uh, or challenge I should say with polybutylene is the insurability side. And I'm sure you know all about this. Uh, we are uh, regionally in, in a unique area for insurance um, or insurers. <laughs> Specific areas, they won't even insure a house at all. Is that right? It's just an automatic decline. Here um, or in the country? On, on Hilton Head now. Oh, okay. Yep. So right. they've kind of tightened the screws a little bit. Um, on Bluffton, I believe you can still get coverage, but it's going to be either more expensive or it's going to be ex exclusions and limitations to it. Okay, so, so when they find out mm -hmm. that there's poly, we call them poly pipes, mm -hmm. in the house, right. they might have insurance issues. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. There, there's a, a strong chance of that. So, you know, what do we do at that point? Well, you can replace them at a pretty decent cost. Uh, I think on average it's around $13,000 for a 2,500 square foot home. That does, wow. it varies of course with the style of the home yeah. and the location, but um, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the reverse side of that coin is, well, what, what if you do have a leak? <laughs> right now we're, we're talking about major money. It's going to cause water damage um, in, in the walls, um, you know, can create mold and these kind of things. Right. So it's better to know at least about it so you can educate yourself moving forward what, what is the best course of action. So I would always recommend if I do find polybutylene to speak to a professional like John here or a professional like uh, an insurance broker that's local here and familiar with the, the inner workings of that industry. How do you, as the inspector, find the, the pipes? That's a great question, yep. So it's really not that difficult if you have a little guidance to know where to look. So um, there are different colors of polybutylene throughout the country when it was manufactured. Um, there's white, silver, black, blue, and gray. Here, regionally in the Low Country, 
It's only gray. I've never seen any other uh, color. So if it's gray pipe, it's a big chance that it's going to be polybutylene. We do need to confirm that that is polybutylene. And so water lines pipes, um, they have stamps from the manufacturer. Um, one is a, a ATSM, it's D-3309. That'll tell you it's polybutylene. Wow. Polybutylene. Okay. Uh, the other on that same pipe is PB. <laughs> it's in parentheses on the line. PB, which stands for polybutylene. Um, I believe it's 2110 is the stamp or code on there. So if you see either one of those, you know you have And where are you seeing it? Are you yep. seeing it coming into the hot water heater? Absolutely. That's, uh, that's the biggest that's the first place that I look, is water heater. That doesn't mean that the house doesn't have polybutylene if you don't see it at the water heater because it may have been changed at that location, but that's the first place that I look. Okay. Um, the kind of proof in the pudding is if you go to any fixture in the house, below that, those fixtures, water fixtures, are gonna be supplied by water, water lines. So if you have under, a, this, under, under the, the sink, kitchen, kind of sink. kitchen, you got it, bathrooms, okay. um, sometimes the laundry rooms, um, you can see if it's gray. Um, to confirm that, usually there's an attic or crawl space that has access to the water lines. It's gonna be covered most, time, most of the time with insulation. Okay. So you just have to peel off some of the insulation and then uh, take a little peek there. And if it's gray, get a picture of it and uh, move on. And this is pretty much just homes that are built in the 80s, would you say? That's the that's the biggest it's time not frame that I see. Or anything like I that. have seen. Um, I think the most recent home that I have seen was 1996. Oh wow! So okay. after they stopped manufacturing it in 1995, they said that the uh, the contractors could exhaust their supply of materials. So that lasted probably another six months to a year that that uh, we've been out there. But you know, past that, it's all gone to PEX or PVC or CPVC, copper. Um, those other now, materials. Now I've also heard you're clearing up all these rumors that us realtors here, brass couplings mm -hmm. have solved somewhat of a problem. <laughs> this is the realtor spin on it. It is. And so I dealt <laughs> no with problem. <laughs> <laughs> I dealt with that for uh, probably six years uh, going strong. Uh, the realtors would ask what kind of fittings do they have, right? Yeah. So um, the original manufacturing material was actually polybutylene. When I say fittings, that's the coupling device yeah, yeah, that the right. pipes go together, right? Um, so the data shows that a specific kind of uh, detergent, if you will, if it touches that material, it will start to, to decay that material. Um, that's including the lines themselves and the fittings. So they went ahead and they started going to copper to mitigate that. Yeah. Uh, or brass, copper or brass. And that seemed to do a decent amount, but there's still data showing that the lines themselves, um, they have micro fractures and they can still fail. So that feeds back into that insurability. Um, they don't even ask what the fittings are anymore, at least on Hilton Head, they, they don't ask. They say, is there polybutylene? Change it or we're not gonna So I'm gonna have it. to change my pitch. You're gonna have to change it okay. a little bit, just modify All right. it. <laughs> All right, I'll modify that a little bit. Um, but there are a lot of people living in this area in homes with poly pipes. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're dealing with two separate um, thought process. One is functionality, right, of the material yeah. itself, and one is the insurability. Um, functionality is kind of my concern. The insurance aside, how concerned am I with polybutylene? I, you know, I'm not, I'm not really concerned with polybutylene as the material. So I see just as many deficiencies with uh, PEX or PVC or any other material that I do polybutylene. Now that being said, polybutylene was manufactured and installed a long time ago, right? It stopped in 1995. That also means the material itself is aged. Yeah, so, sure. um, you know, that, even PEX, um, I had an insurance company call me uh, not too long ago asking how, if the PEX pipes had been replaced um, within 20 years. And PEX is a good product, isn't it? PEX is fine, but even PEX, has a shelf life. Yeah. So polybutylene, really to kind of sum that up, even if it doesn't have any deficiencies currently, it's approaching the end of life currently for that specific material. Okay. Yeah. Well, the homeowner has to uh, put that in the home disclosure. What type of pipes do you have? Well, <laughs> I'm going to leave that up to you in contracts because a lot of, uh, a lot of homeowners, they just don't know. Yeah. Um, even well, if maybe they, if they watch this video, they, they might. They may. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now that you're going to probably run into some that do know and maybe say they didn't know because I'm, I don't know what it is, but they did. So that's kind of more in your alley, but they yeah. should disclose it. 
Um, and if it's disclosed, it's pretty much straightforward. We're going to yeah. have to either adjust the price or negotiate or just get them replaced. Okay. Yeah. So the insurance companies are really tightening the screws a little bit that you're seeing? There are, In yeah. the last five years, would you say? Actually, uh, in the last two years, they have really come down on, um, again, on Hilton Head. Uh, Bluffton is heading that way, um, but they, they just really, the entire insurance industry has, yeah, has started right. to change in the last right. two years. That's so right. they have included polybutylene there. Interesting, okay. Um, and on the island, it's a lot of it on the island. There is. Yeah, I mean, we just started. Just older home. Yeah, we started developing Hilton Head, what, in the 50s, I believe? And, um, you know, it just never start, stopped and it's exploded. Yeah. So okay. some of these bigger neighborhoods, um, it's, it's rampant. Okay. So. Well, I hope this video answers some questions. If you're looking for homes down in this part of the country, the polybutylene pipes, uh, I'm going to put Scott's information down below in this video and you can call him directly, email him. As I said, uh, uh, Scott is one of our ambassadors and, um, you know, Scott knows a lot of people in 10 years to help with this whole process. If there are possible repairs on the home, you might Absolutely. know somebody, right? I have a vetted list of uh, specialty contractors that I have compiled over more than a decade. Um, and there's, a, there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve from region to region throughout the United States. Um, yeah. I'm fortunate enough, I've been here long enough to compile that list, but it's ex I, I can't stress to you how important it is to be able to make a phone call to the right person when you get here. Yeah. And have confidence in that person being in your corner and doing the right thing, it's right. invaluable. So yeah. um, I hold on to that list uh, like it's Because people gold. might not call you back. Absolutely. They might give you the wrong information. You don't know how long they've been in business. You got it. Right. Take advantage of you. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I have vetted that, that list pretty ex extensively. Okay. Yeah. And what's the one thing you tell people when you give them the list? If there's somebody that's not good, let you know. Yeah, gotta let me know. If somebody does you wrong on my list, that way I can improve yeah. that list. That's right. the only thing that I ask, yeah. Okay, well, I think that's about it for now from the low country of South Carolina. Uh, as I said, Scott's information will be below. And if you come down and buy a home, you're gonna see Scott's friendly face and he's gonna be standing <laughs> there doing a home inspection for you. And you you don't mind if the homeowner's there, do you? I do not. I encourage the buyer to, uh, attend the yeah, inspection, I mean, um, but the, the seller as well, that can yeah. be there. It doesn't really matter to me. I feel um, more education is, um, is kind of paramount when you're making a big investment like yeah, that. Right. I'd like you to know everything that you can possibly know about that investment to make an informed decision. Right, that's yeah. good, good advice. Yeah. Anyway, come down and see us. You'll see Scott, you'll see me. Come down, find your dream home. Scott's gonna inspect it.